When I was about seven or eight, I can remember standing here and saying, I want to drive a race car someday. Lady and gentlemen, start your engine. I don't know if it's the freedom. You can, you know, just put the hammer down and go as fast as you can go. Just like an adrenaline rush, it just gives you that feeling that one of the best things that could happen to you. Like many kids, Jennifer Cobb wanted to be like her dad. She wanted to race cars and win trophies like he has for 19 years. I mean, everybody says they want to do something, but racing is such a sacrifice. I mean, you've got to sacrifice everything else to do your racing. But Jennifer Cobb wasn't going to let the sacrifice, nor the fact that she was a woman in a male-dominated sport, defeat her. Right now, I'm a local race car driver, but everybody has to start somewhere, and I would like to go straight to the top. And with determination like Jennifer's, the top may be exactly where she's headed. To get from where I was at the grassroots level of NASCAR racing to where I want to be, I knew that I not only needed to be a great race car driver, but also a good spokesperson for the companies that I represent. Those values have made me not only a better racer, but a better person, and I'm grateful for the media who have treated my sponsors and I so well over these years. You ready? I'm ready. <laughs> Jennifer Joe Cobb finishes a strong ninth. Obviously, I want to, you know, try to go up further and, and you know, I want to race. <laughs> we set a goal out to finish at least in the top ten, so goal accomplished, you know, that always feels good. And, of course, with the rain, you always wonder, could we have been top five maybe, you know, as we were improving a little bit. But uh, real, real happy to bring the Nick and Willie's Take and Bake Pizza Chevrolet home in ninth. She didn't leave nothing, leave nothing on the table in that first lap, Phil. She definitely went for it. She had that big slide over there, and mm -hmm. she kept kept her foot in it. Obviously, look at this tracker now, running about a tenth of a second bat better than Mike Harmon's lap. But see if she can get through three and four this time. Looks like pretty how, good this how time. How exciting would it be to be able to be on a provisional pole, at least for a short period of time? Hometown girl here. She's going to, I'm too. I'm telling you right now, that's a, that was a much, much better lap. Great lap much, for much Jennifer lap. Joe Cobb. 31.5. Jennifer Calls Joe. to get loose and shot up in front of Johnny Chapman. That flash fire went out as they stop here. Hmm. Pretty significant fire. Wow. Really a great pickup for you guys from practice. Tell us about your lap. And have you had, had time to assess the damage on this car? If you make the show, what's going to be the plan? I think it's okay. Um, we have this great graphic sponsor called Horse Graphics, so we're going to need some 13 sent to Phoenix, please. Um, <laughs> you know what? If we don't make this race, my guys and girls might not get payroll next week. And, uh, you know, screw the team owner, which is me. You get away from qualifying, you scratch your head, and you go, could I have done better? Should I have done more? And now I know. I, I gave it all I had, and I don't regret it. Preparation, dedication, you just really have to want it. There have been many ups and downs, and it's been an incredible journey. But I can tell you, we won't stop until we've made it to the top. And I'd just like to thank those who have been along for the ride.